All right, I'm here today to work out a few examples for uh, neutralization reactions, otherwise known as titrations. Um, so I'm going to work out two problems. One, where we're asked to find the concentration of an acid, and um, a second problem where we're asked to find the volume. Then at the end of this video, we'll post two more problems, uh, one of each that you can work on as practice with um, answers for them posted at the end so that you can check your answers. Okay, so example problem one here. If 20.1 milliliters of a 0.5 molarity uh, concentration of Lithium hydroxide is needed to titrate 45 milliliters of nitric acid. Oh, this should be a three here. Um, what is the concentration of nitric acid? Okay, so the very first step to working out these problems is to write a chemical equation. Okay, step two would be to convert to mole. Now, once you have the mole and the balanced chemical equation, then you can convert it to whatever measurement or unit you need. So for this problem here, we're going to use the mol molar ratio to convert from the base to the acid. Okay, so first we have lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide is a strong base. It's on your list of six strong bases. This is going to react with nitric acid, HNO3, which is a strong acid. We know it's a strong acid because it's on your list of six strong acids. So the product of a base and an acid will be a salt and water. The salt here will be the metal ion here and the poly polyatomic um, here. So we'll have lithium, which has a charge of plus one, and nitrate, which has a charge of minus one. So this is balanced and neutral. Uh, so what's left is water, H2O. Check to make sure that we have a balanced chemical equation, which it is. Okay, so what I like to do next is I like to write all of the given information beneath the balanced chemical equation. So we have 20.1 milliliters of the lithium hydroxide and the concentration is 0 0.50 molarity. It is needed to titrate 45 ml of the nitric acid. So this would be 45 ml. What we don't know is we don't know what the concentration is. So what is the concentration of the nitric acid? So I'm, I'm going to write a question mark here and write capital M because that's the answer for concentration. Now I'm going to make a note to myself on the side here to remind myself that the molarity equals the mole over liter. Okay, So whenever I see a capital M, I can think of it as mole per liter, which will help me when I am um, going through the steps in a bit. Okay, so let's, let's start with uh, the volume, 20.1 ml. Okay, so here we have mole over liter. ML is not going to work, so I need to convert from ML to L. 
I, I always write the one with the larger unit and milli stands for a thousand so there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter okay so now the mls will cancel um, next step we're going to use um, the concentration here to convert from liter to mole so 0 0.50 um, molarity or molar we can convert that into mole per liter of lithium hydroxide per one liter okay now the L's will cancel okay now we're left with the moles of lithium hydroxide once you have the moles of lithium hydroxide as you know we can use our stoic to figure out anything else if we have the balanced chemical equation right here we're, we're trying to convert it into the moles of nitric acid so I'm going to use the molar ratio okay the ratio here is one to one Okay, I know 1 over 1 is 1, but you can't skip that step because uh, sometimes it won't be 1 to 1. Okay, so now we have moles of the HNO3. The very last step is we want concentration of the nitric acid, and concentration is written as mole per liter, right? So the very last step is to uh, divide by liter. Okay, now this is an ml, so I'm going to convert this into liter, right? So you move the decimal one to three places, and this turns into 0 0.045 liter. One, two, three. Okay, so this will be 0 0.045. Okay, so my answer, once I plug it into the calculator, I'm, I'm going to take 20.1 times 0.5, hit enter, divide by 1,000, and then divide again by 0 0.045. The answer here will be 0 0.22 mole per liter of H and O3 or you can write this as 0 0.22 molarity of H and O3 okay so that's example number one let's move on here to example number two Determine the volume of 0 0.200 molarity or molar lithium hydroxide needed to titrate 30.5 mL of 0 0.425 molar um, hydrobromic acid. Okay, so first we're going to write out the chemical equation, convert it to moles and then use the molar ratio to uh, convert the measurement to whatever we want okay so first lithium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid yields this is my base strong base this is my strong acid it's going to yield salt so the salt will be lithium bromide. Lithium is in group one and uh, bromide is in group seven. So plus one, minus one, this is neutral. And then we have our water. Okay. Next, I like to write all of the given information beneath it. So uh, these two belong with the hydrobromic acid 
so 30.5 ml and 0 0.425 molarity and then the 0 0.200 Let's write it down here. 0 0.200 belongs with the lithium hydroxide. So what we're trying to find is the ml is the volume in ml for the lithium hydroxide. So it's the same plan. We we know the concentration of the acid. So what what we're going to do is convert this to mole and then uh, use the molar ratio to convert the acid into the base. All right, so 30.5 ml um, molarity is the same thing as mole per liter so I'm going to convert this into liter Okay. The next step is to use the molarity to convert this into moles. Mole of hydrobromic acid. Okay. The next step is to use the molar ratio, which is 1 to 1 to convert the hydrobromic acid into the base, which is lithium hydroxide. Now, again, the, the ratio here is 1 to 1, but you can't skip that step. You have to write it out. Okay, now that we have the moles of lithium hydroxide, uh, I am going to use the molarity so mole over liter 0 0.200 to convert it into volume okay now since the um, problem gave me the volume in ml I'm going to convert it into ml also so For every one liter, you have 1,000 ml. Write the smaller number with the larger unit. Now, if, if you go back here, um, you'll see that the 1,000 on top is going to cancel with the 1,000 down here. So that you'll have to uh, plug it into your calculator twice. Um, plug that in. 30.5 times 0 0.425 divided by uh, 0.200 and your answer should be let's, let's write it down here um, 64.8 ml of lithium hydroxide determine the volume of lithium hy hydroxide that's exactly what we did Okay, so uh, those are the two examples I've worked with you. Now, it's your turn. So, here is problem number one. Uh, pause the tape here and work this out. Here's problem number two. Okay, so once you're done with both of these problems, push, uh, push pause, and then I'm about to show you the answers. Okay, so for your turn number one, you're going to work out the math just like example number one.
and for your turn number two, you'll work out the math just like example problem two. Oh, this sh this should be um, two sig figs and not three. So I'm going to cross this out and write 53 ml. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.